Please bow your heads and pray with me. Our Heavenly Father, we lift praises to your holy name, thanking you for your many blessings that have been poured out to us through your Son, Jesus Christ. We ask that if anyone here does not know Jesus, that they will accept him as their Savior and live for him. He is the only way we will ever find true peace and satisfaction. As we go through this graduation ceremony, we realize we are all embarking on a new path in our lives. We pray you watch over each and every person here, especially as we take the next big steps in our lives. This can be a scary time for us, and we pray that we will never turn away from you. Psalm 56, 4 says, In God whose word I praise, in God I trust and am not afraid. And we pray all of us keep this verse in our hearts. We pray that we will not fear the world, but we will go and make positive changes. We pray for all as they continue their journeys in life and go on to do great things. Lord, watch over us as we move away, go to college, get jobs, and create our own lives. Watch over the brave souls who put their lives on the line every day to defend our country. Lord, we trust you for everything in our lives. May we be a blessing to our family, friends, and those around us. May you guide us and protect us through our next chapter. Lord, help us seek your name in the happy times and in the hard times. In your name we pray, amen. Good evening. On behalf of the board, faculty, administration, and staff, I am so delighted to welcome all of you to Pena High School's 110th commencement ceremony. Thank you to all of the parents, students, families, and everyone joining us on YouTube at home tonight as we celebrate our seniors, soon to be graduates, for successfully completing the requirements to receive their high school diploma. I would like to personally thank the custodial staff, the administrative assistants, our maintenance department, the technology crew, and of course our teachers for making tonight possible. We could not have pulled this off without each and every one of you. These days, life seems more uncertain than ever. We're living in new unchartered waters. Over the last couple of months, I have seen many of these students here tonight stay completely invested in completing the work and staying the course, even when it would have been much easier to give up or to let go. I applaud their efforts and recognize the struggles it took to get to this point, not just since we all started staying home, but since these graduates began their high school career. Regardless of how things have been difficult, one thing I know for sure, and that is it is hard to be a person who never gives up. I also know that we talk to ourselves all the time in our mind. Our private internal monologue is either a constructive narrative or a means for self-harm. So seniors, let your thoughts and your self-talk steer you towards success. Know that you are capable, worthy, and valuable. Let your mind dwell on these thoughts and use your power to help others who may not see that within themselves yet. Graduates, everyone that knows you and cares about you, and especially your parents and teachers, are immensely proud to see you here tonight in your caps and gowns, getting your opportunity to walk across this stage. I congratulate you for making it to this point. And now to address your class, your superintendent, Mr. Jason Bauer. On behalf of the Board of Education, faculty, staff, and administration, I would like to welcome all parents, family members, and friends of the Pena High School graduating class of 2020. This is a proud day for all of us and one in which to celebrate the many accomplishments of these young men and women. Part of my role each year is to provide our graduates with a few words of encouragement as they head out into the real world. This year, more than any, is a very scary time as there are a lot more questions than answers about what society will look like over the next several months. None of us envisioned that we would be dealing with a global pandemic. The main thing we can do now is to be there for our family members and neighbors as we try to reclaim a sense of normalcy. My advice to you tonight centers on three themes. They are, don't be scared, try to curb your fears, have patience and live life to the fullest. Don't be scared, 
Try to curb your fears. Health experts will tell you that fear can cause a wide range of serious health consequences and issues, such as a weakened immune system, cardiovascular disease, and ulcers, just to name a few. Controlling fear for some is a challenge, but if we are going to get through the next several months, it is key that we do everything in our power to try and control our fears. FDR once said, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. For some, this may be easier said than done, but it is highly essential that we learn how to control our fear so that it does not control us. Psychologists have said that we can rely on close friends and family to help us get through tough times, as well as write down things that we are grateful for, exercise, and laugh as much as possible. We may be in a difficult time in history, but we should not let the circumstances define us. We still have our own unique characteristics and talents to share with the world. All of us have something that we can contribute to make society a better place. Granted, you are on the path now to make important decisions that will define your future years. The process at times will seem scary, exhausting, and time-consuming. But if you believe in yourself and concentrate all your efforts into your goals, you will persevere. Have patience. Sometimes it may be easy to let our mind take over and tell us that there is no hope and that everything is doom and gloom. Granted, sometimes things just don't go our way, but we shouldn't let that define us or our future. Right now, all the more, it is important we have patience as a society. We will eventually get back to our normal way of living, but it may take some time. Determination and having a positive attitude will serve all of us well as we move into the coming weeks and months. Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, patience and fortitude conquer all things. Our society sometimes lacks patience, and oftentimes we want things to happen right now, this very minute. But as we often learn too often, things sometimes don't go as planned. For the time being, my hope for all of you is that you, along with your families and friends, are safe and doing well. You will more than likely have moments over the next few years where you will question if you are doing the right thing. This is a completely normal part of transitioning to adulthood. Just remember, if you stay mentally strong and stay the course, you will achieve your goals. Live life to the fullest. If you ask your parents, relatives, or any adult, they will often tell you that life goes by really fast. All of us have a certain number of years in which we are blessed to be alive here on planet Earth. This is why it is important that we cherish every day that we are given and to live each day the best we can. Pope Paul VI once said, somebody should tell us right at the start of our lives that we are dying. Then we might live life to the limit every minute of every day. Do it, I say. Whatever you want to do, do it now. There are only so many tomorrows. That quote puts things in perspective and that we shouldn't waste any time and get going by getting things done. Even Benjamin Franklin said, don't put off until tomorrow what you can do today. Procrastination is an easy trap to fall into, but if you focus and put your energy into getting things done, you will accomplish great things in whatever you do. And by adopting this mentality, you will have the self-satisfaction of accomplishment and be able to enjoy other components of your life. My hope for all of you is that you will go out and do good things for society and have success and happiness along the way. In closing, I want to wish all of you the very best in the next chapters of your lives. Class of 2020, we are very proud of you and thank you for everything that you have done for Painta High School. We look forward to seeing all the good things that you will be doing over the next several years, and we will never forget all the wonderful things you have done for our school community. I will be recognizing the students graduating from Painta High School that are graduating with honors. To graduate with honors, you have to have a 3.25 to 4.0 GPA. Those students are Daniel Filardo, Lucas Holthouse, 
Sway Denton, Aubrey Boswell, Wyatt Clough, Allison Beck, Austin Rhodes, Beth Johnson, Felicity Beard, Bryce Edmonston, Vanessa Nimjeski, August Cunningham, Lane Perry, Bailey Suter, Jacob Byers, Isabel Carter, Drake Spracklin, Shelby Lehman, Elizabeth Rich, Natalie Stouter, Tabitha Crane, Amanda Hall, Haley Ishmael, Logan Puckett, Lucy Kennedy, Anna Gould, Chloe Hendrickson, Leandra Jofflin, Olivia Schmitz, Kylie Reagan, Jonah Loff. This final group is graduating with exceptional honors and these students have a 4.0 or higher. They are Casey Swisher, Trey Patton, Danielle Bieber, Jacqueline Reed, and Quentin Perry. Thank you. Good evening, family, friends, teachers, faculty, administrators, and fellow graduates. I'd like to start by expressing my sincere gratitude to all the teachers here at Pena High School. Throughout these unprecedented times, our teachers have gone above and beyond to ensure that we are still adequately learning in the last few months of school. I appreciate your time and effort for meeting with us on Google Meets, your video lessons, and your presentations. Your daily encouragement helped us get through these tough times, so thank you. Next, I would like to thank the administrators and school board for giving us the opportunity to become successful adults and for always believing in us. Also, your dedication to organizing the most traditional form of graduation possible did not go unnoticed. Last, I would like to thank my family and most importantly, my parents. I would not be standing here today without you all. Thank you for always pushing me to be my best self, having confidence in me when I did not have it in myself, and for always being there on my journey through life. During these last few months, I've had time to reflect on our time together. I truly believe that this graduating class is very unique and special. We have always had multiple things thrown at us, and each time we tackle them head on. Therefore, I thought the most appropriate message to share today was about resilience. The Oxford English Dictionary defines resilience as an action or an act of rebounding or springing back, rebound, recoil. In other words, resilience is the ability to overcome hardships and become stronger after conquering them. I believe that my fellow graduates can add resilience to the traits that they have compiled along the way. I do not say it lightly when September 11, 2001 changed the world forever. The class of 2020 entered a grieving world, which has contributed to our strength to endure things that most seem as impossible. My fellow classmates and I have ex never experienced a world without a war on terror and the threat of terrorism. This event has taught us to learn resilience by continuing to live life despite events that could instill overwhelming fear. We have lived our lives in uncertainty, but we have learn to appreciate each of those special moments in our lives. Now my classmates and I are graduating as the world grieves yet another event, a pandemic. We had never expected Friday, March 13th to be the last day of our high school career. The last two months of high school are the ones that we have been looking forward to. We would have had our last prom, honors day, senior skip day, scholarship banquet, senior season of sports, senior class trip, everlasting memories, and the list continues on. As each of these events passed, it is, not, it is hard not to think of the could haves. Perhaps this time in life will teach us to appreciate this time spent with the most special people in our lives. We have become resilient by sustaining our education and helping our loved ones throughout these challenging times. Resiliency has also been shown through many non-traditional forms of celebration, like a drive-by, senior night for soccer, a Zoom basketball banquet, yard signs, and a painted wall honoring all of the seniors. Thank you, Natalie. The way that our class reacts to this pandemic will ultimately shape the future. We must continue to find our purpose and pursue a career that ensures these opportunities that impact others in a positive way. Among this class, we have future nurses, teachers, doctors, police, 
welders, accountants, military members, and many other outstanding careers. With this class, I believe that we will overcome anything that life throws at us. We will continue, or we will come back stronger. We all have the ability to be the change. While researching resilience, I found a quote by Ash Alves that stood out to me. It goes, sometimes we go through certain things and think, why me? Life is going to keep slapping you in the face. You have to make a promise to yourself that whatever happens, nothing will stop you from finding your joy. Feasibly, we must continue to spring back from difficult situations and find what brings us happiness. We are not defined by the worst terror attack and a novel virus, but we are rather defined by our resiliency towards these grieving events. I'm sad that this chapter has come to a close without fully finishing writing it. However, we have all created unforgettable memories. Congratulations, class of 2020. We did it. I wish you all the best of luck on your future endeavors. I hope you all know that you're nothing short of amazing. Hello, teachers, families, and fellow graduates. Although I wish I could be speaking with you all in person, it's still a great honor and privilege to be giving this speech. First off, I would like to thank all the administrators and board members for all their hard work and commitment towards making our high school experience as complete and as special as it could be. I would also like to thank every one of our teachers for everything they've done for us over the past four years. As teachers, you have one of, if not the most important jobs on the planet. As for me, and I'm sure a lot of my classmates, I owe a large part of who I am to you guys. Thank you all so much for the time, effort, and commitment you have given us. I can't go without thanking all my family and friends who have managed to put up with me and support me throughout my entire life. I wouldn't be the man I am today if I didn't have the right people by my side. You've always been there, and that truly means the world to me. Words cannot begin to describe how lucky and blessed I am to have such a good group of people in my life. And of course, this group includes the class of 2020. The majority of us have grown up together since preschool and have gotten closer every year since then. Now, here we are at the end of our high school career, a bunch of crazy kids from Pena who I consider to be a family. After four years of memories, hard work, and struggles, life has decided to throw yet another obstacle in our path. We got stuck with a situation that no other class in history has ever been faced with. But just like we've always done, we took this challenge and ran with it. I've gone to school in Pena my entire life, and I swear you will never see another group of students as close, as passionate, or as strong as the class of 2020. You guys are truly inspiring, and I hope you never lose these qualities. Just like everyone else, whenever I learned how our graduation would be carried out, it broke my heart. We've all watched our friends and family walk across the stage, and we prepared for this moment for a good chunk of our lives. But after looking back and thinking about our class, I decided that this whole situation seems kind of fitting. It's definitely not the ending that you or I would have wanted, but in a way, it symbolizes who we are as a class. There's not a human on earth right now who hasn't faced hardship. Individually, I know that we've all had our own mountain to climb at one point or another. For a lot of us, and this definitely includes me, there's been a lot more than a few. But if I've learned anything from being a part of this family, it's that it doesn't matter how many times you've fallen down, you've got to get back up and you've got to keep going. Whenever the going gets tough, you either run away or you overcome. Today, I'm asking you all to overcome, just like we have for the last four years. Whether it be college, the military, the workforce, or even with a virus, this class can jump any hurdle or climb any mountain in its way. I'm asking that you don't lose this passion because I know that this class has so much to offer the world. I understand that we all have different goals and those goals are going to take us to different places in life. But I'm sure that no matter where we are or what life has in store for us, the class of 2020 will always have a special spot in all of our hearts. We can't predict what lies ahead, and it's hard to guess what the world's going to throw at us next. We are living proof of that. But as we transition from this chapter of our lives to the next, we have to remember that nothing can stop us, because that's just who we are. Now let's go show the world. Hello, graduates. Wow, I'm sure you've all had a great ride getting to this point in your life. I know that it certainly hasn't ended the way everyone has imagined or waited for. Even so, you've made it. You're going on to the next phase of your lives. On behalf of the Pena Education Foundation, I want to say congratulations to all of the 2020 Pena High School graduates. 
Over the last few days, I've been reflecting over the accomplishments of the Pena Education Foundation since our inception 20 plus years ago. We've been able to work with and assist our district with multiple projects and classroom enhancements that assist in the growth of learning for both students and teachers. One such classroom and district enhancement the foundation is completely committed to is the Chromebook program, which is an ongoing program that allows students beginning with the sixth grade through graduation to have a personal laptop to use for classroom and home learning. This program is something the foundation wanted to be a part of right from the beginning. We feel that this puts our students on a cutting edge for the future. This classroom enhancement, as well as other projects and being able to provide two four-year scholarships to two graduating students each year has been a huge accomplishment in our eyes. Of course, we wouldn't be at this point if we didn't have the assistance from the people of our community. With continued monetary donations, the Pena Education Foundation is able to continue to be an active member of this district by allowing our future leaders of tomorrow to build on a second to none advantage and to become leaders in their communities and the workforce. I would like to thank you for your past and future support of the foundation. In regards to the scholarships being presented this year, I wanna take a moment to say thank you for your interest in applying and that it was a very hard decision for the committee. The scholarships that are being presented at this time consist of $250 per semester for four years. After a great deal of consideration, the two recipients chosen for this year's Pena Education Foundation scholarships are Morgan Kircher and Natalie Stodder. On behalf of the Pena Education Board, I would like to extend a hearty congratulations to both of you and good luck in your future endeavors. Thank you. Felicity Rose Beard. Allison Marie Beck. Annabelle Nicole Beck. Riley Elaine Beck. Emma Jolene Burton. Jacob Harley Byers. Danielle Ray Bieber. Michael Joseph Bishop. Aubrey Leanne Boswell.
Trenton, Jean Burke. Jesse Adam Cameron. Isabel Ann Carter. Trinity May Ann Carter. Jace Wallace Christer. Christopher Lynn Christian. Wyatt Lane Clo. Tabitha Lee Crane. August Rain Cunningham. Hannah Leanne Cuddle. Austin Michael Davis. Sway Abigail Denton. Wesley Earl Robert Dixon. Jacob Joseph Dudra. Zoe Grace Didway.
Maya June Easley. Bryce Thomas Edmiston. Daniel Vincent Pilardo. Riley Page Freeman. Anna Elise Gould. Jaden May Hadowski. Amanda Jean Hall. Braden Wayne Hamilton. Chloe Aaron Hendrickson. Jolie Nicole Henschen. Andrew Joseph Hawk. Kylie Emmeline Hawk. Rachel Comdang Holly. Lucas Todd Holthouse. Haley Marie Ishmael.
Beth Dorothea Johnson. Xavier J. Jones. Leandra Christine Marie Joplin. Sadie Roseanne Keller. Taylor Nicole Keller. Lucille Ann Kennedy. Wesley Todd Kyle. Tyson Hunter Keim. Morgan Elizabeth Kircher. William Douglas Kirkbride. Jacob Jeffrey Klein. Jonah Paul Loft. Shelby Rose Lehman. Zachary Alexander Maton. Sawyer Grant Bookout McGrath.
Nathan Henry Moore. Alexander Michael Murray. Logan Ryan Nance. Vanessa Hannah Naminsky. Cameron Ray Owens. Owen Christopher Trey Patton. Jonathan Lane Perry. Quentin Drake Perry. Logan Keith Bryant Puckett. Kylie Joe Ruth Reagan. Jacqueline Matina Reed. Jalen Wade Reese. Austin Matthew Rhodes. Elizabeth Renee Rich. Madison May Saunders.
Olivia Christine Schmitz. Allison Marie Simpson. Drake Kenneth Spracklin. Natalie Michelle Stoddard. Ivy Rhiannon Stewart. Bailey Nicole Souter. Casey Nicole Swisher. Chase James Keith Temin. Noah Martin Vivac. Veda May Vitz. Alex Matthew Wiedekamp. Bailey June Wellburn. Tabitha Ann Wood. Dalton Eldon Worker. Krista Marie Zendel.
Wow, just crazy. Couldn't tell you. I've been here uh, 26th year and never anything like this before. So, but also not forgettable. So for that, you have that going for you. And uh, as we move forward and as you guys move on, whether you go to college or you're going into the workforce or the military, I wish you guys a ton of success. You've gotten through this. You can get through anything. And I wish you lots of luck. Good luck, Class 2020. Congratulations, Class of 2020. We're very proud of you guys. Hello, Class of 2020. I want to wish you guys the best of luck in your future. You've had the most unique senior year ever. And because of that, you guys will go on to do great things. Panther out. Hey there, class of 2020. First off, I want to say congratulations for another year of hard work and dedication. And even though it was cut short, I don't want this to deter you from going out in the world and doing great things. So here's to you, class of 2020. Congratulations, you did it. And everybody that came in and seen me, you got your mind. Hey there, class of 2020. Congratulations for graduating, making it this far. Uh, I want to wish you the best of luck. Thank you for all the memories. Um, go out there and be the change you want to see in the world today. And uh, you guys have quite a story to tell. So best of luck to y'all. And we'll see you when we see you. Best of luck. Congratulations, class of 2020. Um, I just want to say a few words before you guys leave the school building. Uh, I think a lot of you had a phenomenal year in art. Um, some products you did a pretty good job on it and some we made a sculpture. We don't know what it is, but it looks awesome. So I'm proud of you for all of your accomplishments. Uh, I just want to say congratulations and continue endeavors outside of Pena. Take care. Pena High, class of 2020, Mr. Emery here. In my first year of teaching, I didn't get to know many of you an awful lot, but I do want to take a moment to congratulate you on graduating from Payne High School. I know this has definitely been a very atypical senior year for you, but remember, the challenges we face in life help define who we are. I'll end with one of my favorite quotes, which is, our character is our destiny. And for those of you who had me first semester in homeroom, I think I still owe you pizza. So don't forget that, and if you see me, we can get caught up on it in the future, okay? I wish you again congratulations and good luck in your futures. Congratulations to the class of 2020. This has been a crazy ending to your senior year, but it really is your new beginning of your life and the next chapter in your life. Now, I have one memory that sticks with me of a geometry class that would randomly bust into song and it was never a different song. It was always the same song that you all would sing very loudly. And here we go. Just remember that those country roads will always bring you back to those of us who love you. So remember to visit. Good luck, best wishes, congratulations. See you soon, we love you. Congratulations, class of 2020. What a milestone that you have achieved. I'm gonna offer you three pieces of advice that have helped me along the ways from the time that I walked out of these doors as a senior to present day. One, make sure that whatever you decide to do, whether you're going to college right off the bat, you're entering the workforce, or you're serving our country in some manner, enjoy whatever that is, whatever that decision that you're making, enjoy that job, enjoy that task. That will make getting up every day and doing that that much more easy and it will also make it that much more rewarding. The second piece of advice that I have is challenge yourself. Sometimes the easiest route is not always the best route. Challenge yourself, rise to the challenges that you've set and when you accomplish those goals, they are so much more meaningful. And the third thing, never allow Darth Vader to be on your film crew. You it just does not the last work time. out well. Hello, 
of 2020. It's that time of year, that time four years ago when I told you that we would see you cross that stage. I know it's not what we envisioned um, four years ago when we talked in the gym that day, but I do think that there's something to be said about your class and the way that this has gone down. I was asked by one of your classmates when this first happened, why us? And I'd like to share with you what I told her with a few other things. I think it's because you're strong enough. You're gonna use this as a catalyst to bigger things. Your class already had this unique way of approaching things, something that I always wondered if it was the result of being born in the shadow of 9-11. You've grown up with the war of terror and you are now graduating with the pandemic. This has no doubt been painful. And pain reminds me of this Emily Dickinson poem that I shared with the Comp 2 kids. It's called, Pain Has an Element of Blank. Pain has an element of blank. It cannot recollect when it began or if there were a day when it was not. It has no future but itself. Its infinite realms contain its past and enlighten to perceive new periods of pain. You see, 2020, these hard times, this pain is teaching you things that you could never learn in a classroom. And because of this, your class is so practical. You're not a class that shapes your identity by fluff or traditional ways. And when you've had a chance to process this, you will move forward in unprecedented ways. You're gonna appreciate the bigger things. You will find peace in the sublime and you're gonna scoff at the trivial nonsense that our culture seems to eat up like candy. You're gonna cherish your moments, knowing that things can change and will change, but you guys are gonna be able to adapt and overcome and continue like few other generations. In the video I shared with you a while ago, the speaker mentioned hindsight. Hindsight is when you're able to look back at an event to gain new understanding about the future. And how perfect is it that this is 2020? Clear vision that is being shaped by hindsight. Make no mistake, you are gaining so much from this time and I know it's not gonna be in vain. It has been an honor to work with you this year, 2020. Good luck in your future endeavors. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Best of luck in the future. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. I wish you good health, happiness, and success in everything you do. And always remember, be a nice human. Way to go, class of 2020. You made it. No matter where you go from here, whether it be college, trade school, the workforce, or the armed forces, I know that you will succeed. Congratulations. Class of 2020. Your guys' freshman year was my first year teaching, and so far one of my favorite things about being a teacher has been able to see you guys mature from the kids that walked into my class that first day of school to the young adults you are today. Congratulations, class of 2020. Hello, senior class of 2020. Congratulations on your achievements during the last four years. Your class will always be remembered as the quarantine class of Pena High School. You've made history. Best of luck in the next chapter of your lives. Congratulations. Hi guys, I just wanted to wish you guys all a happy graduation. I'm so wish that we all could have been together to have done this, but um, I know that all of you are gonna do an amazing job. Um, as your consumer ed teacher, um, you got to go research and go job shadow most of you. And I see what an amazing group of kids that you all are. And I know with all of your hard work and your determination, that all of you are gonna succeed in every single thing that you do. So with that, congratulations on your graduation. Congratulations class of 2020. I know that your class has missed out on a lot of things this semester and I feel really bad about that. But something just keeps coming in my mind that I wanna share with you. It was shared with me a long time ago. And that was the idea that you can lose just about everything in your life. Um, you can lose your money, you can lose your house, you can even through tragedy, lose your family. But there's one thing that can never be taken away from you, 
and that's the education that you receive. What's up here is with you for the rest of your life. So I hope you had a great education here at Payne High School, and I wish you great luck in the future. Hello, class of 2020. I wanted to congratulate you all on reaching this momentous point in your life. One thing I really like about high school graduations is regardless of what path you're about to begin this next chapter of your life on, everybody begins at the same starting line. Regardless of whether you're going to be starting your post-secondary work, whether that be in college or a trade school, uh, going into the workforce right away, or enlisting with the military where you'll be learning the values of intense discipline and unconditional patriotism, Everybody begins at the same starting line. I know this might be an unorthodox start to your new life, but I know that you all are equipped with the skills you need to pursue your own interpretation of happiness. Hey, class of 2020, congratulations. We're so excited for your graduation and the celebrations that are going to follow. We know that the end of the school year wasn't exactly what we had planned, but uh, I want to take this opportunity to thank you guys for being such a wonderful class, so awesome all the way through. Really going to miss you guys, had a great time, and uh, there's an extra special reason. My son is a freshman this year, Brant, he's had a great time, and uh, I told him it, it mirrors my freshman year because my freshman year was my favorite year of high school. The main reason was the senior class that year was so great, they were awesome. A lot of guys that I grew up playing ball with, had a lot of fun with, and a lot of good friends and, and uh, great people. And it was a really sad day that when, when they left, I realized, hey, that class is moving on because they were so special. Just like you guys are so special and uh, we're gonna really miss you. I know that uh, you didn't get to have your countdown, your celebration at the end of the year, so I'm hoping maybe this will take a little bit of a place of that, give you a little bit of closure. Five, four, three, two, one. So hey, all you seniors of 2020, today it's Brussels sprouts, chicken, brats, hamburger, and pork steak. Come on over if you can get here in time. Hey, I know it's a bad year, terrible thing to have to go out like this, but I just want you guys to know, I'm kind of saddened because of the fact I didn't get to know most of you, because some of you didn't obviously weren't in my driver's ed classes. I've only been there for three years. Those of you who were fortunate enough to be in my classes for geography. I sure hope you learned something. I enjoyed having you in there. There's one thing I do want you to take away from what I'm telling you today, and that's this. I once had a, a gentleman speak at a graduation that I was at in 1979 when I got my bachelor's degree way down at Arkansas State University. He told me something that you guys can take to heart today, and it's this. You've completed the next step in the education process. You're gonna walk across this stage today and you're gonna get a piece of paper that says you've got a diploma. The biggest question that I have and the challenge that I have for all of you is what are you gonna do with it? Hindsight's 2020. That happens to be this year. Don't be looking in hindsight 15 years from now and have fallen short of your dream. Stay with your dreams. Keep believing in your country. Most of all, believe in yourself. You can do this. It's great to be a part of the pride, isn't it? Hey seniors, congratulations on graduating. It's been a memorable year and you've been a memorable class. Good luck to all of your future plans and go out there and be awesome. Class of 2020, the thing I remember the most about you is the fact that you were always happy in that hallway. You would always say hello when you walked by, you'd chit chat, you would uh, pop into my room, and I am definitely going to miss that. I've enjoyed having you guys right down there with me the whole time. See ya. Class of 2020, congratulations on finishing up your high school career uh, in these trying times. The fact you've made it through proves that you can, as the Marines say, adapt, improvise, and overcome. Um, if you attack life with that mindset that no matter what it throws at you, you will succeed, you will come through it, and you will be stronger because of it, uh, no doubt you will be successful in all that you do. So continue with that mindset, continue with attacking the challenges, and good luck in all that you do, whatever your future holds. 
class of 2020, a big congratulations to you all on your graduation. You guys did it. You made it. You are officially done with high school. I hope that you are all so proud of the work that you put in to get to this moment. I know that we're all very, very proud of you. We are going to miss you, but we know that you have so many more amazing things to accomplish and experience. Please know that even though this did not end the way that you wanted it to, you, your class will be unforgettable to all of us. My biggest hope for you guys is that you get to experience all of life's many, many blessings. Again, congratulations. We will miss you. Hey guys, just wanted to say congratulations uh, to the class of 2020. Um, no, this is not how you really wanted your senior year to end, um, but it will definitely be memorable and one that no one will forget anytime soon. Just wanted to let you know how proud of you guys we are. Um, wanted to thank you for all the hard work you've done over the last four years. Um, wanted to say congratulations, especially to the sports teams. Um, as, as it was a fantastic year, uh, starting in the fall with the volleyball and football team having incredible seasons and then moving on to girls and boys basketball having great seasons as well. Um, but just wanted to say congratulations and, um, you know, to the athletes and the non-athletes. Um, and we're going to miss you guys a bunch and we wish you nothing but the best in the future. If you need anything, get a hold of us. And we just wanted you to remember a couple things before we go. As you go through life, if you always remain true to yourself and you work hard, things will work out. I promise you. Creed to keep me active and take this moment to wish you well. You guys deserve it. You're a phenomenal class. Thank you for all that you've done throughout this virtual school year. Who would have thought that we would have gone from a STEM lab with our, our virtual quest places to a year in which you're doing virtual learning. But I've heard so many great things and I'm so proud of you. I really can't give you too much advice because I think you've really perfected handling challenges but I will leave you with one thing. If there's anything in life that you strive to do, I wish for you that you'll be the person you needed when you were younger. Take a time, give smiles, give help, and, and don't forget, life is how you make it, and you wanna be able to look back on it and relive those memories again with a smile. I wish you all the best. You're an amazing class. Good luck on every adventure in life. Good luck, class of 2020. Hello class of 2020. Uh, my car is the only quiet place in my house right now. So I wanted to give you guys uh, two stories um, about your class that I think will um, serve you well in the future. Uh, the first story is when um, we went out to lunch as a, as a class, some of us, uh, after seeing The Great Gatsby and we went to Pizza Ranch. And it was kind of the end of the uh, buffet time and we were kind of sitting there, um, you know, enjoying the meal and everything. And Chase Temin uh, decides, um, you know, that this one girl at another school is looking pretty, pretty nice. And, um, you know, we, we, you know, a bunch of the kids were talking and, and I don't know who actually made the suggestion, but to see if he could actually get her phone number, digits. And the, the, the bet was on to see if he could get digits from another girl at a, um, another school. So uh, he, he went over there was confident, puffed up his chest. Um, I don't know if he had an FFA tie on or what. And he tries to get the, the girl's digits. He 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 fails at getting the digits. Yeah. However, yeah. I think he does yeah. come back with yeah. um, her Instagram um, um, account and they become friends on Instagram. They follow each other on Instagram or something like that. So um, that was a really funny story uh, back with our, our field trip um, sophomore year. And my, my second story, um, is about uh, track. And it was with Cameron Owens. Um, it was our last day right before st our state um, finals. And we, uh, our track at home at Pena was completely ripped up. 
uh, because they were fixing the football field and fixing the track. So we had to go um, elsewhere to practice our handoffs right before state finals. Um, and it was like this hottest day. It was 90 degrees and everything. And we ran through four by one exchanges, four by two exchanges, things like that. And um, we're getting to the last exchange between uh, Cameron and Cody Klein. Um, so Cameron and Cody look at me and, and they say, Coach, we we haven't ever practiced uh, handoffs in the four by two. I'm like, what, what do you mean you haven't ever practiced handoffs? And he goes, oh, we just never practiced handoffs before. And sure enough, they hadn't. And I looked at them, I looked at everyone, and I don't know if they were lying to me because I'm pretty sure they, they practiced them before. I remember, you know, them doing practice practices and, and trying handoffs, but they've never dropped the baton. So I wasn't going to force them to, to do this at this moment. If they've never practiced it, I was thinking in my own mind, you know what? They've never practiced it and they've never dropped it. Don't change anything. So that's what I wanted to leave you guys with is... Um, is two things. One, like Chase, uh, always be confident. The confidence um, can yield sometimes great results if you just have confidence in yourself and in your abilities. And two, uh, just like Cameron, uh, don't change things that are working. If it's working, a relationship or a job or somewhere, don't mess with it. Usually life has so many complexities to it that um, changing things oftentimes can yield um, negative results that if it is working and it is a good thing uh, celebrate the good in life and um, I think you guys will all be successful I'll miss you guys congratulations class of 2020